We are today at Hardy's Monument. That's the top of Hardy's Monument. You can just see peeping over that hill there. But we're not here for sightseeing today. We're here to pick berries. Now there are some blackberries just starting to ripen there, looking really very sad. We've had very low rainfall here in the summer. But it's not blackberries we're looking for, it's bilberries. I see the plants there. That's bilberry plants there. Yeah. Let's just see, are there any berries? Yep, there's a bilberry. So. couple of bilberries, one of the small ones. Jenny, would you like the first oh. bilberry? Thank you. Oh. Mm, not very big ones. Mm. Again, rainfall. But this isn't just about picking berries. This is war. We're going to make this interesting. This is the sequel to the Sea Glass Olympics. This is bilberry battle. Choose your weapon. Okay. Right. And the winner is going to be the person who picks the most bilberries in the time we're here. So either until we've, one of us has filled up our bucket or we get bored or run out of time. So start when you're ready. Go for it. I can see some nice ones down here. So And not very many about. Two, so I'm winning so far. Just heard Jenny say she's got one. Now bilberries are blueberries. They're just the northern European species of blueberry. So if you think we didn't have blueberries here in the UK, think again. We do, but they're just called bilberries. They're related to American high bush blueberries, just a different species. They're not hugely abundant here, all very big. So I am gonna move on a little bit and see if I can find a better spot. Well, that's what I've got so far. Now the foliage here of these bilberries looks a little bit more lush. So hopefully we'll find a few more berries here. Hmm, not seeing an awful lot. But there we go, there's a there's a few down here. Gotta kind of root around inside the foliage. I do have a bilberry comb for picking bilberries, but it does tend to destroy the plants a little bit, so I didn't bring that with me today. And it works a lot better when the fruit is very abundant and you can just kind of comb it through the bushes and it comes up full, mostly of fruit, but it does tend to shred the bushes a little bit. So we're picking by hand today. Also, that keeps the contest fair and equitable. You doing all right? I think she's beating me again. Right, we've got to step it up here. Or I could just trip her up and make it spill and all. Could try dirty tricks if fair play doesn't work. Ah, okay, right. The thing to do is get right inside the bush. Don't tell Jenny. Oh, 
was the best one yet. Now I can see Jenny's actually put down her bucket there and she's adopted a two-handed technique. I might have to turn the camera off so that I can steal that tactic. So I think a lot of the bilberries we saw here in spring have definitely been overgrown by the bracken. I recall seeing some on this slope here and you can't even see the plants anymore because it's just dense bracken and brambles over the top. So the bilberry plants have been protected by the overgrowth of other stuff. So I think what the plan is, we're going to head back up the hill towards the monument and see if we can get onto the heathland from up there. Well, regardless of success or failure with berries, we're not completely failing at the moment. It's a lovely day to be out and about. Oh, Jenny's going to brave it amongst the bracken. Yeah, it's not nothing really. No? Nothing yeah, this is tick country. And so I've got my big boy trousers on and trouser tucked into sock and shirt into trouser. I'm a bit more vulnerable to tick bites than Jenny. Jenny just never gets bitten by ticks. They seem to gravitate towards me. Yeah, see there's a few plants here. That's a bilberry plant, but there's no berries. At least I can't see any. Oh, Jenny's got one. Oh, I see one. I'm having that one. Maybe I should just barge her out of the way and pick them. It is the Bilbo battle. Oh, I wonder. Yeah, it's it, that's, that's the bit we were at. We can get to it from the top path up there. Yeah. So we've already been up that bit. Yeah. Oh, there's a very healthy looking bush. So often when you find a, a bilberry bush like this, yeah, these ones with the really green foliage, look how, how much bigger those berries are. And here's where you can actually see that we are dealing with blueberries. They've got that little disc shape at the end there. Right, anyway, stop talking Michael. Start winning. These big ones are good because we are competing by weight today. So the big plant berries on this bush are the right ones to pick. Ouch, if I can get in there without the brambles getting me. Fingers already stained with bilberry juice, that's par for the course. Now, as I say, a lot of people in the UK don't even know that we have bilberries because every time I'm out bilberry picking, somebody will stop me and say, what are you picking? And when I tell them it's bilberries and when I tell them that bilberries are just blueberries, there's always a, a moment of surprise. So yeah, a lot of people just don't know we have these. And yet, they're really common in most kind of acidic heathland environments so really anywhere that you might expect to find heather you may also find bilberries especially if there's heather if there's heathland next to a little bit of woodland because they are kind of a little bit woodland a little bit heathland species oh, i can see some good ones in there Come on in. Yeah, yeah. I love your videos. Oh, you know me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. I put a few comments on it now and again. All right, okay, well, thanks. I live in Bridport, so... Oh, cool. I know most of the places you walk, so... <laughs> I ride them all, 
Oh, cool. Well, what's your, what's your video going to be on today then? This is the, well, we did the sea glass um, oh, yeah. competition. Oh, yeah. This is the bilberry battle. So, so Jenny and I are competing to see who can pick the most bilberries. What do they look like? They're like little blueberries. Do you want to have a look? Do you mind appearing in the video? So there you go, they're like little, bil oh, okay. like little blueberries. And what do they taste like? Well, taste one. There you go, help yourself. Um, they're like blueberries, but a bit more sour. I think they've got a bit more flavour. Oh yeah, they are very similar, aren't mm. they? Looks I mean, similar. they are related to, to blueberries. Um, so yeah, Who's tiny winning? little things, but... Uh, are they make oh, nice? Oh, you're winning, Jenny's I winning again. <laughs> That's because I've stopped to talk. That's because I gave all my blueberries away. That's why I'm losing. <laughs> so, I just spot them in there. Though. This is the plant here. And, and you'll find that I was just talking to the camera about this actually, so I'm going to repeat this for the camera. Um, you'll find them anywhere really where you find heather growing, so he acid heathland like this. And uh, and yeah, so there we go. And I've picked most of them off this bush, so I don't know how you do it. there you go. <laughs> so, wow, and they are delicious. So, we're cooked with the loser of this competition has to make the pie. It's gonna be me, <laughs> it's gonna be me again, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair then. Half and half. Oh well, enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah, you too. Thanks for stopping to for talk. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah, no, I love it. <laughs> it's even better you live in Dawson. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Cheers. So that's been happening more and more <laughs> lately. I suppose as the number of views and subscribers and whatnot increases on my channel, more and more I'm finding that I'm out and about places and I get spotted and recognised by people who are either are subscribers or just who know me from my videos and stop to have a chat and that's nice lovely chat there so interesting that, the, that that just happened to kind of illustrate the the thing about bilberries that I was talking about literally the moment before anyway I've got to turn the camera off now I think I might make Jenny carry the camera for a little bit because that'll slow her down right do you want to hold the camera for a little bit and show them what you're doing and I won't, I'm not going to steal those because oh. they're in your spot. But yeah, don't get too close because it doesn't focus all that close. So half a little bit, there you go. Okay, I'm not going to steal those because even though I did see them before her, but I'm going to get in here. I think the, these are good ones here because the, there's brambles in amongst them and so the birds haven't been able to get in there and get them. But also, they're not easy to pick. Not easy for me to pick. Hmm. Happy to move on a bit? Yep, do you want me to take the camera back? Yeah. Well, Jenny must be doing well because she wasn't even interested in these. No, Too small for her. Ones. Too small for her. La di da. I've got a bee trying to go in my ear. Not quite filled with the bottom. Oh, they might be winning now. Oh, well. Let's have a look. I wish you would say that's probably neck and neck. So this oh, could be a tight competition. This might come down to the gram. Mm, so I think the plan's going to be to head up towards the monument and get onto the heathland and see if we can get better berries down there. Up there rather. Just have a look on the back of this hill because sometimes little shady spots like this, but not this time. Right, so there is a track up here, but clearly not meant for public access. There's no style here. There's no kissing gate or anything like that, so there's no 
provided access, which means humans, general not public humans, are not meant to be here. This is a cattle pen or a sheep pen or something like that. So they, this fence would be constructed around here to make a pen that they'd round things up into it. It might even be deer actually, that they would round them up and chase them down this hill through that gate into a pen that would be constructed in this area here. Anyway, so here we can tell that we are welcome to come through. Like I said in other videos, I might still do a thing about public footpaths and access to land and such because it is different in different places in the world and sometimes people are a bit confused when they see me wandering across fields that they might imagine to be private. In the previous Hardy's Monument video, I stopped here, exactly here, and gazed up through these branches, exactly these branches. And at that point, the canopy was only just filling in and it was this beautiful, fresh spring lime green colour. Now we're in the start of July and it's completely filled in. You can hardly see a spot of sky up there. And this is now a very shady, cool spot. All of the ephemeral spring plants that might have been growing under here in spring have now been starved of light so they've shut down for the year and we shan't see them again until next spring. I remember being here in spring and seeing bilberry foliage all around this sinkhole here and now I can't see a thing so I think it would be necessary to go rummaging under the bracken to get the bilberries which I'm not really keen on doing. So it turns out we are doing sightseeing after all. There we go, there's the Hardy Monument. We're getting closer. I'm not gonna go right up to it. Just have a little wander in here. So I can see bilberry foliage here. Okay, so there are some berries. Oh, they're quite good ones as well. Okay. Very tiny little plants, they've been grazed right down, but they are fruiting. Okay, well, it's, this is all right here. Have you got some, Jenny? Okay, I found a good spot here, but I shouldn't tell you that. Oh, hello. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, yes, I've struck it quite lucky here. Right, camera's going to go away because I need to use the two-handed method for this. Back in a moment. Now here's somewhere where it would be worth using the bilberry comb, but... Yeah, Jenny says that's cheating. Performance enhancing machinery is not permitted today. Right, so it's definitely a two-handed job, but we've hit the right spot here. So look at these lots of lovely bilberries here. I'm not going to run the camera for long because it's giving me a competitive disadvantage. How are you doing up there? All right. Yeah, I reckon I'm about half full. Really? Shh, don't tell her. No, I'm not really. <laughs> Unwelcome. That's a tick. That's a hard tick, a deer tick. We'll say bye bye to that. It's inevitable that we're going to see a few more of those. There's one there. Oh, blimey. This might not be a very good spot for that kind of a thing. I hope you're, you're doing okay, Jenny. Check your legs. Yeah. All right, we're going to stop for a bite to eat. So, oh, I think I'm winning. I think I'm winning. Almost, maybe. Right, we're going to stop for a bite to eat, so yeah, just check your legs. I had quite a few ticks climbing up me, which I'm not very happy about, but glad I tucked my socks in. They will generally climb until they find something soft, so usually it's like pit of the elbow there, armpits, or the belt line that they will bite. 
So as long as you're vigilant, well I say as long as you're vigilant you won't get bitten by a tick, that's not true. They'll bite you. No, oh, you would, no, it itches. It speaks the voice of bitter experience. Right, contestants stop picking then, I think, and we'll go and have a bite to eat. Right, well, I said we weren't going to do any sightseeing, but we will find a bench up here to sit and eat our picnic lunch. I think sitting amongst the bracken might not be a great idea. The place is swarming with ticks. I brushed about, I must have brushed about a dozen of them off my arms and legs. I hope I got them all. Now, over there, Wild time, wild time being enjoyed by the bees. Look at that. Two different species of bees. So we've got a bumblebee there and a little solitary mining bee over there. And another bumblebee's just come in and another mining bee over there. Good stuff. This seems a good place to sit and have lunch in memory of Lieutenant Colonel William Digby Oswald. Fifth Dragoon Guards commanding 12th West Yorkshire Regiment. Killed on the Somme, 16th of July, 1916, aged 36. This seat was given in his memory by officers of 5th Dragoon Guards, 12th West Yorkshire Regiment. Oh, anyway, yeah, nice little seat. Lovely stone seat, we'll sit here and have some lunch. Being very careful not to allow my pot of bilberries to blow over. There we go, there's a deer tick right there so just enjoying watching the bees on the time over there i was just thinking as well compare fingers well i don't know who's the winner and who's the loser there but i've really stained my fingers it does wash off right we're on the east side of hardy's monument now jenny's just spotted some more berries so i've got to get back on it here and keep going I'm a little bit reluctant to go wading in all this bracken after my earlier pre-lunch experience with ticks. That was not pleasant. I think I managed to, to get them all off. We won't know till I get home, but I really don't want to get bitten by ticks today. Lyme disease is a risk in this country. I have been bitten many times before by ticks and I haven't got Lyme disease. I've been tested actually recently for it. Yeah, pickings are not quite so rich here. I reckon they probably would be if we could get up this steep hill here. Some of that red, reddish foliage is bilberries. Towards this time of year, they tend to take on a little bit of bronzy red color in the foliage. So many butterflies along here. The Red Admiral right there. Oh, shady spot here. I see some berries. Not a huge abundance of them, not like we saw at the top. Well, every berry counts. Mm. So I think it's time to head back now to Shrimp HQ and have the weigh in and see who's won the Bilberry battle. Right, it is time for the Bilberry battle weigh in. Jenny first, scale zeroed. Hundred and forty three grams of bilberries, hundred and forty two, hundred and forty three. 143 to beat. Okay, and my haul of bilberries. Hundred and eighty-one. Hundred and eighty-three. Get in. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I win the Bilberry battle. Yeah, we'll put them all together. I think between the two of those, we've got enough to make a pie. Need to pick some leaves out of there and twigs oh, and things, yeah. but yeah. So I win the Bilberry battle. One all. So the next contest is the kind of best of three, isn't it? In spirit of peace and harmony, after our battle of Bilberries, we've come to a compromise. Jenny's going to make the base of the pie, I'll make the filling. Team effort. Right, so biscuit base for the pie is just going to be made of digestive biscuits and butter. job right that's got to go in the fridge yeah, now for hot. a couple of hours probably okay so jenny made the buttery biscuit base for this bilberry tart i'm going to make the filling now i'm not going to wash these bilberries because they're too delicate for that so i'll just put a few of them in a bowl at a time so i can pick out just the leaves anything that doesn't belong in here sometimes it's the odd stalk i just like to take those out so that they don't get stuck in your teeth. Now I know that not washing things like this does cause some folks a bit of consternation. And so, you know, if you want to wash things like this, you go ahead. I'm not going to because from experience of washing these things, the water, when you see it afterwards, has got half the juice of the berries in it. So given the amount of effort we put into picking all of these, we don't want to wash half of them down a plug hole. So 300 and something grams of bilberries in the pan. Those will not need very much added to them. We're just gonna have the juice of one small lemon. And then because of that lemon, and because we also do have quite a lot of natural acidity in these berries, I'm gonna have about, that's about three tablespoons of caster sugar. No water, the juice of the berries will come out and provide all of the liquid we need. Right, as those come up to a simmer, I'm just gonna mix a couple of tablespoons of corn flour with some cold water. Berries have all popped and let loose loads of juice. So in with some of the corn flour. I'll go for about half at the moment. So there's about a tablespoon worth of corn flour in there. And keep stirring that really vigorously so we don't get lumps. Yep, and there we go. Starting to set. So now it turns into a sort of thick jelly. And I think we're done actually. I don't think we needed two tablespoons of corn flour there. I think one was fine. Right, just to help that cool down a bit quicker, I've got a basin of cold water there. So I'll put the bottom of the pan in the cold water and that will help to cool this all down a bit quicker. I'm going to cool it right down. Just got to get it down to the point where it's not just going to melt the base that Jenny made. It now goes into Jenny's chilled biscuit base pie case. It's still steaming a tiny little bit but this base has been in the freezer. So that will offset this warmth a little bit. And I'm not gonna waste a single one of those berries. Okay, that's now gonna go straight back in the fridge to set and just cool down properly. This has had about an hour in the fridge and it's just set perfectly. I'll just put it on top of a mug like that so I can tap that. There we go. And there is our beautiful bilberry tart. Now it's only a fairly small tart, so I think we probably could cut that into quarters. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. So we've got this lovely bilberry jelly tart that's kind of slightly silky and just, just set. To accompany this, Whipped cream, ice cream, some Greek yogurt or something like that would all be very good. I'm going to have some clotted cream. On the edge there. So this is the literal fruits of our labours. We did mighty battle against each other and also against ticks. Ready? Yeah. Mm. 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 Very nice. Yeah. Not something I want to do all the time because ticks, but 
gosh, that's worth it. And what these little berries lack in size, they more than make up for in flavour. Just so aromatic. And look at the colour of that juice. The lips are quite stains. So that was the Bilberry Battle. Thanks for joining us at the Bilberry Battle near Hardy's Monument today. I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.